Hello and welcome, Angela Myrits reed here, Stamping Up Demonstrator based in Christchurch, New Zealand. Today I'm going to be creating this card for the Global Design Project. All the products I've used are available at my online store and are listed in the description box. A PDF tutorial is also available via my blog and a link to my blog is also in the description box. And I'm, for this card I'm using the Love For You bundle. So this is Super cute stamp set and coordinating dies. To start with, I've got um, my basic white card base and I've got the thick, thicker A4 card. And I'm using the Pretty Flowers um, embossing folder. Sorry, that's my cat. She's decided to, she wants to be in the video. So sorry for the noise. So I'm just going to bring in my big machine and what I'm going to do is just emboss I could have a an extra layer here but I'm just going to emboss this layer this um, card here so I've don't not got too much bulk so I just want to butt that edge up with the fold and then just pop it in here it wouldn't matter if it did go over the back so you won't see it of course but it folds better if it's not. So I just run that through. It's quite tight. It's just with the, it's not a 3D one. Oops. Plink. Just get that out of the way. And there, that's just right along the edge there. So I'll just burnish that a little bit more back here. Give that a nice sharp fold, and that's good to go. So I'll just set that aside, and then um, oh, what I want to do actually is I've popped some splatter on here. This one I did with the um, stamp and write marker, but I'm going to show you the difference. I do one with the stamp and blends. Thing is with the Stampin' Blends, you just need to be careful not to damage the nib, nib because it can if you're a bit too vigorous. So you just it just gives you a different a thick some thicker splatters. So just this does you don't have to add this in if you don't want to, and some of it will be covered up. I'll just bring that um, just move the cat, sorry. Oh dear, off you go, good girl. Um, you can see here, sorry about that, that one's got little fine, it's a lot finer, and this has got some bigger splatters. I quite like the bigger splatters, but as I say, you just got to be careful not to damage the nib. So next thing I'm going to do is create all these flowers. So save you watching me do them all, I have got some ready. So there are quite a few, so I've got to leave those here and just bring them. Um, got little bits of white cardstock. So I've got this, this is so saffron. And I've mounted them on one block just to alternate the side, just to make it a little bit easier. So I'll just pop that. Stamp that onto there and then bring this one round here. And then the lining it up sometimes is a little bit tricky. So I'll just sorry if my I'll just move it out from here and before I can so I can see where I'm no, I was in the wrong spot, that's why I'll just get it lined up and I don't have to look at the top of my head. So and then you just stamp that straight down on top of that and hope for the best. So that has worked okay. Just it does help to sort of get right down on top of it. And I need to do the leaves, just one set of leaves. And I've done that, again done that double mounting. And don't need to worry if it's not perfect, um, because when you stamp over it, it does 
would cover up some of that as well. So, and, and lastly, I just need to do the, gosh, it's really, I don't know if you can hear her, hopefully you can't, she's still bleating around the house. <laughs> Our youngest daughter's away at the moment. I think she's missing here. Right, I'm going to do this little blue flower. Let's take that on top. And then in all of um, the, both those flowers, I just put that little black, the centre, and I've just done those in the memento. And I just line it up with it and then just drop it down and hope for the best. Sorry, my head's in the way. And then I'm just going to die cut those three. So I'll just bring in my little machine, it's easy for these. And I tend to just, you can sort of do them all together. And I'll try that. But sometimes they do move. So sometimes it pays just to take it a little bit more slowly. I'll see how we go. I'll put this on in place. Just drop that on. And that's good, that hasn't moved, so that's always a success, isn't it? So having to re stamp them. And actually, that's always quite good too, is to stamp a few extras if you do have some mistakes or it doesn't stamp perfectly it's quite good to have a few and then while I'm die cutting with my friend here um, what I've got is some for the love you is I've got a piece of white um, basic white cardstock and then this is adhesive sheet I'll just take the back off that and pop that onto here that automatically makes a little sticker and then pop it onto here and I've got the love and the you from that set Oh, I was trying to fit it in better, but it's not going to work. So I'll just because they're on alternate. Oh, I'm on the same side. If they're alternate, alternate sides, I could sandwich them together a bit better. And I'll just run that through twice to, because it is a little bit thicker with the sticker layer on the back. So make sure it cuts through. And my take your pick tool and just poke those out and then pop that in again so I just want to have a double layer it just gives you a little bit of depth on the card when you have more than the one layer so I'll just go through that twice. And then just set that aside because I just want to die cut this. This is the surrounding bit. Now this is all joined up in these. Sorry, just dropped one on the floor. It's one of those days, isn't it? So I just so it's got four U, so I just need the four on there 
and then I want love which is the bottom because it says so much love so I'm just going to put the love so as long as I've got the love and the U on that black and then just get on and run that through as well Just going to leave that sitting in there and what I'm going to do is I want to put this layer on top and you don't necessarily need to poke all those out because I find when you take the back off sometimes they pull away I just need to get that started with and get that sticky back pull that off there see it's just taken those little bits out just saves the job and then I'm just going to sit that on top of there and then I'll do the same with this one I'll just lift that stick a bit that backing if you didn't want to use the adhesive sheets you could just use glue but I just find it um, saves getting glue everywhere. And just put that on top of that and just give it a little bit of a press down. And then what I want to do is pop it onto here. And same thing again, take that backing off. Just pull that. And then I want to get that onto here. So just so it's sort of in the middle of each piece of the outline and it's quite forgiving you can and sort of pull it up and then once you're happy with where you've got it it's not quite straight but it's okay and give it a good press down and then do the love as well so you could use any of those words and whatever just say whatever you like. I thought you could even add a little sentiment, happy birthday along the bottom, or happy Valentine's Day, or any anything. Just as a wee adjunct to that. Right, so now it's a matter of um, putting it all together. And what I did is just turned all these upside down and then added to the big ones I'm just going to add one dimensional in the center of each of them you wouldn't be tucking things underneath each other so it's nice to have a bit of room to move and then probably just need half um, or you could use the smaller ones and just pop a small one just in the middle of each of those and then on the leaves just one sort of at the bottom there I quite I like them things not being stuck down too much I like them to have a bit of waving around in the air a bit so then you could go ahead and sort of 
will place them down and then lift them up and put them down but because I've already got that as a guide I can use that um, and quite often what I do is <laughs> often you get them placed down and then you move, take them off and think oh yeah that looks good move them off and then think you start putting them back and it doesn't look exactly right so I quite often take a photograph um, of how the placement is and then swipe it off and then just look at my photograph to put everything back in place but I often find even watching from this it'll be slightly different this time but that doesn't matter it's nice to have a little bit of um, thing to be a little bit different just can use that as a bit of a guide just didn't want to be there be lots of gap behind it sort of and then that view will be about there so I can tuck really no rules just um and actually I've done three across there I might have a little bit of a change this time just do two of those around there there so that's going to sit there love about there um, and I'll bring in I might put another blue just tuck that one in about there and one yeah let's just see how that's gonna yep I think that's gonna be okay um print a note I'm gonna put this there so I've got a bit of height and the leaves will add a bit of height to actually so that's right and then put blue one in there and lastly this one tuck that in there so it fills that gap and they're quite forgiving those dimensionals you can just if you don't once you're happy with them, give them a good pat down. Till then you can lift them up. So that is good for a bit of a change. And then I'll add from there just to add a bit more height back into there. I just want to spread those sort of around. And then I need to tuck in the, the ribbon too. Actually, I have one blue flower left, so I have to find, manage to miss that out. That's okay. Just shows you, doesn't it, how easily it is to change it up and turn it around. Um, I might even just try and decide if I. change that up or not I might just pop that in there no I think that's okay I won't worry about that one today so then I've just got pieces of ribbon I've cut because I didn't want to put a whole swathe of a ribbon behind there so I just want to have that piece coming out there so I'm just going to pop glue dot on the back of that this one to come sort of opposite it put a glue dot on the back of that 
let's line that up so it looks like it does come from there. And you could even staple this together if you wanted. But I'll just put another glue dot there. Just stick them together. The ends. And then do that on this one here too. These glue dots are amazing. There's so much stick on them. They stick so well. And then I'll put a glue dot on one of those sides. So you could do both sides, but it won't matter. It'll stay quite well. And I just want to... I might just lift that and take that right off. I should have thought about that properly before. Let's tuck that under there so I've got that. And then just to stick that back on, let's just pop a bit of glue on there. And then this, do the same thing, put another glue dot on there. And hopefully there's enough room for it to tuck under without me destroying this one as well. And actually that works quite well if you can use that to tuck that in. works like that and then just lastly this just want to pop that over here so I'll pop a couple of I'll just put um, lost my small ones again just a couple of small ones and let's pop those in the gap there and just sort of line that there. That's that just needs to be held down a little bit. It's quite crooked, isn't it? You do a very good job of that. Get it to look like it is diagonal. All right, what I might do is just scrape that all that off and put another one on there. Start again, that's probably put that on there. I don't have to wait for it to dry, tuck it in under there. That's good, right. We're rolling now. Sorry, <laughs> that cat threw me. She's disruptive. Right, and I'll just put a bit of glue on there, and I'll just do a wee bit around there. Tuck that in there. I hope that that's. Nice and straight. Doesn't it's kind of on a jaunty, it's jaunty anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. And then lastly, I've got these gorgeous um, iridescent pastel gems. And I'm just going to they're in the balmy blue, which works perfectly with this because we're using balmy blue. So I put um, one of the big ones down here. Big one down there, and then a small one just to offset that there, and then tuck a small one up here just to balance that out. And that is that. That's my card there. So I hope you enjoyed that. Some um, yeah, just a little bit of a different um, arrangement, but that's okay. Um, thanks for watching um, and I hope you enjoyed the video and um, if, you know we'd love to see your um, 
uh, projects using this week's color challenge so thanks again for watching bye for now